Hello, welcome back to the channel. Well, if you guys have been following my newest videos lately, you'll know that I broke off a brass connector. I'll show you guys here real quick. That one right there, the one that's zoomed in the most, uh, that receiver connector, uh, broke that baby off inside the block on the short block 302. Um, basically, right where you see the head is where it snapped off because idiot me over tightened it. Uh, which I don't normally do, so I don't know why I did that. But the only way to uh, get that out, which I have found, is to use an extractor, a, a fluted screw extractor kit, which are these guys right here. And let me explain real quick how these work. These are reverse rotation, so typically, you know, right would be tightened, and you would think that right would thread it in, but actually the way these work is left tightens it in, so you turn it left hand, or counterclockwise, uh, and basically it drives the extractor into the receptacle of the broken screw or, or in my case brass plug uh, And then as you tighten it in the taper on it increases and basically theoretically what it's supposed to do is at a certain point It's not going to the taper is not going to go in anymore. So whatever's in there is going to be forced to come out Okay, so that's in theory how these work and I've had good and bad experiences with these but quite honestly, I'm really Let's bring you over here to the motor. I'm really at the mercy of this because the last thing I want to do is ruin this block uh, or have to drill and deal with metal shavings in this engine because if anybody's been following my channel for any length of time, they know we got a lot of freaking time into this engine. So I kind of wanted to just do a video demonstrating how this actually works because some, some people may not know. Or if you just broke something off in your block and you're kind of like, shit, now what do I do? this might help you. So let me try to hold my camera in a way where I don't make you have vertigo here. And let's, let's show you what, what, what I got started here so you can see what's going on. So like I said, we broke off the sending unit uh, brass plug here in the block. And let me hit my zoom here. Let's get you in there. So here, and, ooh, and you know what? Actually, one more second guys. I do have a light to help us out this time. Plug it in here. I'm plugging in my light. Hold on. Okay. So, let's bring you in here. Let me get my bearings again. There we go. Okay. So, now that I have my light going on here and my extractor, you can see that it's starting to back out the problematic plug that broke off. And I'll give this a second to focus here. Come on. Shitty camera. Uh, anyway, you can see it's starting to back off there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to very creatively tape me doing this. And basically what I have here is my wrench, socket wrench attached to the extractor because I can't get a drill in here. And honestly, I didn't really want to go start spinning a drill. Uh, this close to the engine. So let me go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to show you kind of how I back this out. So I'm just turning left hand with nice clean force on the ratchet. This is not something you want to rush because at this point um, we got pretty lucky. So you don't want to you don't want to rush this. So I'm basically just threading this baby out. Thank God it's coming out. You have no idea how happy I am. And this, these work really great uh, when they want to work. So this is basically when you're at the point of, you know, trying to, you know, because because what I could have done essentially is threaded in a bolt and block this off. They don't make, and if anybody can find this, this is a challenge. Try to find a uh, uh, 3 8 by 16 male threaded brass anything and I guarantee you you can't find it and if you can put the link below and prove me wrong so I know that my nearly three hours of searching on Google to try to find something to thread into this wasn't for uh, nothing and there we go so let's show you how that worked there's the extractor inside the brass plug and there's our hole Beautiful, ready for the proper fitting 
that doesn't snap off in there. So there it is in a nutshell. Let me zoom out. Hole is clear. The bastard brass plug is out and it was all made possible by the amazing spiral extractor. And these extract, oh yeah, I have one more thing I wanna notate. These extractors are tempered. They're heat treated and they're extremely strong. So if you start forcing an extractor in your engine or in anything and you snap it off, you're going to have a hell of a time trying to drill it out because your drill bit is going to be a softer metal than your extractor bit and then your extractor and it's going to uh, bring a lot of challenges. So what I'm trying to say here is don't force something that's not meant to happen. If, if, it, if the extractor is going in without, if it's going in with problems and it's not providing ease, then you're going to want to back off and think of another option before you create an even bigger problem, which is also part of the reason why I decided to do this by hand and not with a drill. So luckily that oil filter down there is in the way where I couldn't use my drill or else perhaps I would have started trying to use my drill. So anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. About seven minutes here of explaining how to use this, but I, I get a lot of good comments on my videos a lot because people are like, yeah, I really appreciate you taking the extra time, you know, to explain it, you know, properly and to go into detail. So for those of you that don't like the length, tough shit. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, following, subscribing, all that good good stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you soon next time I got some progress on this engine.